I got shit going on too. You feel me? So, I. Right. He get mad about the email because when you're in jail, you want motherfucker to move. But that's what you make your females do. Your females move when you say move just like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't moving like that. I'm moving when it's convenient for me. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something. That's why I say I did tell him about, you know, I'm going to holler at the people. But when I found out that's who it was and it dawned on me, I'm like, man, I'm not reaching back out to no motherfucking police. You feel me? And what I mean by police, I mean a CO, correctional officer. That's a fucking police to me. You feel me? All right. You mad about that? Okay, cool. That shit's still petty too. But I can see you was in jail, but you out now. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you were down bad when I was locked up, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I was mad at you, bitch. You, you know how it is in jail, and I do know how it is. You feel me? I know how it is. But at the same time, when I tell you what it was, you put a, have an overstanding of that. Right? So when I'm talking to his partner, his partner seeming like he got to overstand it, but his partner tell me, I'm like, man, you put us on the phone, right? He like, man, just give him some time. This is September, October. It's what? January. Right? Time gone. So I ain't saying nothing. Way from September, October, November, December, January. That's four months. I ain't saying nothing. Everybody like, man, what's up with you and BG? Da, 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 da. I'm playing it off. You feel me? I ain't saying shit. I'm not tripping about homie doing whatever he doing, man. Get your shit together. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Because I'm getting my shit together. You feel me? Every day. That's what a man do. So, bam. All right. Then he go live. I say, nah, I can't be quiet. Not because he insinuating that I did something. People are already wondering why, okay, man, this person you doing a song with. This person you want to um, screenshot with. They ain't asking about no other hot boy, but people like Turk because they seen, man, Turk was screaming free BG and it, it made me look like a damn fool, to be honest. Damn, that man ain't even rocking with you, man. What you did? You feel me? So now everybody thinking I did something and you ain't straightening it out because you got on there insinuating what everybody else saying. You feel me? Nah, man, you got me fucked up. Fuck what everybody else saying, but it's when you insinuate. Now I got to say something. You feel me? I got to say something now. If I don't say nothing, I'm going to wear that stigma. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, I get on now. He trying to downplay it now. When a motherfucker don't want to hold themselves accountable, they will try to find a reason, dog. I've been number lawyer to you, homie. You feel me? And I don't need no brownie perm from it, but since you plan it like that and plan it all... I'm going to drop these receipts and show the world like you don't want to show the world, but you want them to insinuate and believe a storyline. Even if you trying to pull a storyline to make your shit hot and pop more than it is, man, put me on it and let me know what's going on. Because, nigga, it ain't no storyline for me. This shit is real life. You feel me? It ain't. I, I'm not. It ain't, I ain't playing about nothing about it. You feel me? But so I'm seeing, you know. Everybody asking me some shit, you know what I'm saying? So cool. I'm getting phone calls like, bro, what's up with you? Shit, I don't know, bro. I don't know what's going on. I guess motherfucker think I'm downplaying it, but I really don't know what's going on. Yeah, I heard he say, she say shit from this person say this, this person say that, but them people don't mean nothing to me like Jesus means something to me. Them people and they feelings, I don't know them like that. I don't care if it's his family or not. It ain't my place to tell them nothing. And instead of BG straightening his folks out, he allowing that shit to go. So you condoning this shit. I would never let my wife get on here and disrespect BG. All the shit she know. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't your business, babe. You feel me? All the shit she know. She know everything. Y'all saw how BG was happy to talk to my wife? You feel me? When I was locked up, that's who BG was... Going through for me. You feel me? So he know my wife good. You know what I'm talking about? Cool. So I, I'm giving him time. The time I did gave him, he insinuate. So yeah, I'm about to come and clear the record, y'all. You feel me? What the fuck y'all think I'm going to let this bit of stigma on me? Now that's bad for my business. At the end of the day, I am hot boy turk. I am a part of that history. So the same how they can make money from that shit, nigga, I make money from it. 
You think I ain't gonna get the pe my piece, my cut? Mister, I like I'm hot, the one that don't tell me to stop. I made that. Ball of blocking while you blocking us. I made that. I shot the mailman. You feel me? I put in work around this motherfucker. So just as much as you got say so, I got say so. Ain't no big eye, no little use in this shit. That's how I look at it. At once upon a time, nigga wasn't even screaming no hot boy, nothing. I've been screaming that shit, posting every last one of y'all. Nobody else wasn't doing that, bro. I was doing it because I'm tapped in with these fans, and I've been knowing what the fans want. So it wasn't for me to benefit from it, even though I was benefiting from it. But, bro, I was benefiting because of me being who I am. Because if I was to benefit from the hot boys itself, I would have been in a way better position than I was. A lot of people... Pick sides and took your side and that side, that side. I only had my fans to deal with me and support me. So, you know what I'm saying? All that trying to use y'all. Nah, man. Y'all people is divided with y'all. So, I didn't I, I didn't get nothing from y'all people. Everybody that support me is my people, man. And y'all can't stop my fans from being my fans and standing with me, man. Just like y'all standing with y'all. You feel me? Everybody not on y'all side. Respectfully, man. You feel me? Worldwide. But anyway, so yeah, man, I'm going to clear it up for my fans because they seen it. They know what's going on. I talk to them every day. I'm tapped in with my fans. I'm engaging with my fans. I get money with my fans. It's, you know what I'm saying? I got a, a, a platform where I got an agency where I got 95 people on payroll getting paid. My fans, you feel me? So all that other extra shit, man, is 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 motherfuckers who have picked the side and chose the side and trying to get a motherfucker to, to, to validate them or give them something. I don't need nothing but respect, homie. You feel me? Like, that's it. And when you plan on my name, man, that's the most disrespectful thing you can do, man. I ain't going for it. I'm a man at the end of the day. I ain't disrespect none of y'all, bro, and I ain't going to tolerate no disrespect. You feel me? So... Fast forward. I've been hearing this shit through the grapevine. I wasn't going to entertain a lot of that shit, but I'm seeing the bloggers starting to make money off the lies. One blogger posts some shit about some shirts. My shirts had free B Jizzle, the white shirts. Whoever was running BG Instagram at the time, every time I'm posting that, the shirt was $40. I'm buying the shirts. I'm buying the equipment. I'm buying every motherfucking thing. So whatever I sell, if I do make some, I'm going to get my money back. And we're going to bust that bitch down if I make some money. You feel me? I ain't no motherfucker buying them shirts. That shit was too plain. Nigga like me, I can make my own free BG shirts. A few people bought shirts. But then BG sending me plenty of motherfuckers to get shirts. Your mama, your brother, some females. The whole hood, I'm supplying them with shirts to get in a video to make the free BG campaign look like something. But it's also plenty of people in that city with free BG shirts selling it. I'm not going to say their name. They know who they was. I even supported them. I was shooting a video with, with Baby and Manny Fresh and Juvie. They come trying to get a shirt for Baby and them the way I'm in the video. They couldn't get them to Baby and them. Guess who they got them to me? So when you see me with that free BG jacket on, I got that from somebody. When you see them other big printed free BG shirts on my page, that was somebody else's production, man. That wasn't my production. I just supported them because it was supporting BG. It was the free BG campaign. This is the time when I was talking to Bird. You feel me? The time I was talking to Juve. I was talking to Fresh. You feel me? I was talking to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I like, okay, cool. When I saw a dude say, I would have been mad too if your shirts and your free BG stuff look better than mine. And he not even knowing the white one was the one that I produced. And I got Booster to repost it. I got T.I. to repost it. Because me by myself is not enough to start a free BG movement. Let me at least get them with me so they can help out. So I reached out to them. Because I know you needed help, man. You feel me? And I ain't going to go into detail about that. But if I got to, I will. So that's why I'm telling you just straighten it out, man. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to have to let people know what it really is, dog. 
but you ain't going to make me look like, <laughs> you feel me? And don't say nothing on me. Nah, it ain't going to go like that. Because then it going to come like, damn, so you were doing anything for clout? Nah, I'm speaking on it now to clear my name up. 